Hey everyone, it's Larry Sam here. Today we are going to be doing a, a Rainbow Six Operator tier list. Uh, we're going to be doing this solely off of Operator abilities. Uh, I've By now I have like 100 hours, a little bit more than that, in Rainbow Six. I've seen every Operator. I've played every Operator. This does not have a Thunderbird, but... So we're, I'm just gonna straight up say Thunderbird uh, C tier, but without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So with Ying, uh, her she has three Candelas. Um, you'll see her played every now and then. Honestly, I think B tier because as long as you actually flash the enemy, it's a pretty good operator ability. Uh, Blackbeard, F tier, because it's a face shield that he has two of them and it'll go down in like two shots. Plus, if someone's spraying bullets at your head, <laughs> like, it, it, it will not do anything for you. Doc, I have to say e, A tier with his three stem pistol shots, plus it can bring himself back up. Uh... Alibi or Libby? Uh, I'm going to say B tier. She has four Prismas. No, three. That she can throw down and it will reveal real-time location of the attackers if they're hit by the attackers. Unless the base is shot, then it'll get destroyed. Dokubi, she has two cell phone bombs. And when you kill a player, they'll drop their phone so you can hack into enemy cameras. Overall, D tier. Thatcher has three EMP grenades. He's able to throw, which will disable electronics. Some things, I, I don't know the specific list, but some things will get destroyed, which is always good. So, I'll say C tier. Capitao, uh, let's just remove E tier. Like, that's not needed. We'll just go straight from D to F. Because, you know, it looks better. Uh, Cabotau, I'll say F tier. Because he, he has two fire bolts and two smoke bolts. Like, you'll see the smoke used more often. And if you want fire, use Tachanka's Shumika. And on the topic of Tachanka's Shumika, I'll say B tier because it is really good for. I saw. I've seen him. The Shimika get played a lot recently, and so. It's often used for blocking off entrances, and it's really good at doing that. Mira. Would be higher, but with the recent. I'd say recent, it, it was like two weeks ago or something. But there was a patch that if your black black mirror or the, like the window, if it gets hit or shot, it will get completely un You can't see through it, and so you'll have to hit the little hydraulic thing and have the shield go down the window. So D tier, it's still a nice sizable hole for you to shoot through, so it can make for some... Pretty nice plays if you if done well. Buck with the skeleton key is amazing. It has 31 shots. Um, it can break through soft surfaces with ease, and can be used as a shotgun in close quarters. So actually, I'm gonna put him up at S tier. Glass. His thing is very operator, I mean, they're all operator specific, but his uh, thermal site, it's actually not bad. Uh, if you move slowly, it will pretty much stay at the same level. So moving at regular pace is really how it will go down, but you need to stand still for it to go up. So, and it makes some, for some pretty decent smoke kills. I've had a couple of those recently, so I'm going to say C tier. 
Clash, I mean, it's shield on defense, which isn't entirely practical. Uh, her, it can electrocute people doing a small amount of damage, and it'll also slow them down. So, good for being annoying, but not much else. I'm gonna say F tier. Now, you think I should follow Montaigne up with F tier, but because he's on attack, he's actually better, so D tier, because he can just camp the diffuser, which I have seen get pulled off before. In fact, I have pulled it off before. Maestro, he has his evil eye, which has a bulletproof. Uh, it is bulletproof technically, but if it gets shot, it, the same thing happens with a mirror window. So, but it, it can open up and you'll be able to shoot enemies for like one damage. But it's a volley of them, so. Overall, D tier. Maverick, he can make a bunch of small holes with his blowtorch and soft and reinforced surfaces. Burns through soft surfaces a lot faster. I mean, it's a fire on wood, so I say B tier. Nomad, she has three deployable air jabs, which are a proximity thing, and it will knock the enemy back, which can also be done to allies if triggered by the enemy, the defenders, really. Overall, C tier. Valkyrie, she has three throwable cameras that can be put anywhere. I mean, if it's like, a, you can't stick it on a moving fan, they'll just bounce off. But anything else, you can throw them. So for what it is, S tier. It's a great way to hide cameras. Uh, Frost, often her, she has four frost traps, which are often put right next to deployable shields or right under windows. Uh, you don't see them work often, but they're good when they do. So overall, C tier. Twitch has one shock drone during prep phase and two during the attack phase. Really only the main use is for taking out cameras and like placed things like maybe bandits batteries or something. Overall, C tier. No, not C tier, D tier. Gridlock, A tier, she has three throwable track stingers, that's what they're called. Uh, when you throw them down, it'll release a giant area of spikes, which will do, I can't remember the exact, it's one to five, it's always one to five. And if damage per tick on uh, the defenders, you can, attackers can walk on them just fine, but it'll slow down the Defenders. Uh, Pulse, B tier. He has his little heartbeat sensor, which is basically a giant camera. And it, it'll detect the heartbeat, so if you're on one side of the wall, you can see enemies on the other side. It's, I don't know the exact range of it. Probably, if I had to guess, 5 to 10, not uh, probably around 5 meters. Um, Lion. If enemies are moving, when he act, it will give you a warning. But if his Lion drone scans you and you're moving, it will show your real-time position for, I want to say, four ticks. Overall, I think A tier. Zofia. Not entirely... Better than Capitao, because hers actually are explosive and concussive, which are a lot better than fire and smoke. So I'm going to say C tier. Cade, he has two throwable electric claws, which do a radius of electrification, which I think the most you can get is three walls and two barbed wire is probably, or more, depending on how dense you want the barbed wire to be, but if it's in like a corner, you can get three walls, but normally it's two walls, and if you put it on the, near the floor, you can get barbed wire. 
but the max you could get is like three walls and maybe f maybe even four to five barbed wire. I mean, once again, it depends how close they are. So overall, I'd say S tier. Uh, mute. He can. He has four mute jammers, which can be placed down to uh, block off uh, enemy drones, and it also makes you immune to detection. Like uh, it is a counter to Dokabe's calls and Lion's uh, detection. So, with that being a counter to that and just blocking off drone entrances, I'd say A tier. Thermite, he has a breach charge, but it can go through reinforced surfaces. He has three of them, when normally you'd have, well, I think some are right. No, I think you usually have two breach charges if you choose that for your equipment. So, overall, B tier. Habana has 16 little stars that that can stick to reinforced surfaces and soft surfaces and will blow them out. Uh, yeah, the choice between deploying two, four, and six. So depending on how big of a hole you want, it's pretty useful. I'd say A tier. Rook, he can place down armor armor packs which gives you a little extra bullet resistance but I mean it's not really the best it will last for one or two shots depending on who's who does the shooting if it's glass it's still gonna you're still gonna be a two shot if it's I th think the only way to survive a shot from Cali is if you're if you have a rook trauma plate and you're overhealed and you're a three armor operator, I think that's the only way to not get one shot because I think the damage of Cali sniper is like 127. Because I remember looking looking into this and I think that's the only way to survive it. To set that up is impossible, so or nearly impossible, but it probably is survivable. Anyways, rook. C tier since it helps the entire team. It can be also picked up by the attackers, which I which has happened before. Uh, uh, two days ago, I was playing some Rainbow Six and a rook came out, started dancing, and dropped down the armor pack for us. So that was funny. Uh, Ash, C so can launch three breaching rounds, which will go through soft surfaces. So, real easy way to get through a soft wall. Overall, I'm not counting in guns, and if they're like a three speed or anything, oh, I'm this strictly. If I was counting in everything else about Ash, she'd be higher on the list, but her operator ability alone, C tier. Uh, Banda has four car batteries they can place on the ground to electrify barbed wire and reinforced walls. Overall, uh, D tier, because if you want if you want to use electrification, use Cade, because he is better than Bandit since he can also hit ceiling hatches. Uh, Elish is. Three throwable Gersmots, which will which have a large radius and will do concussive and will concuss uh, uh, the attackers. So what I usually do is throw down two and then save one if for if I get in a sticky situation. It's a really easy way to throw them off. I have aced with Ella before. But that wasn't related to her operator ability. Overall, B tier. Uh, Sledge, he has a hammer that can go through pretty much. Well, he can go through anything soft surface. So if you, I, it's not related to his operator ability, but I can't remember if he has a shotgun. If you can, 
if he does, he can straight up just tear straight to the defense objective. But he can do that regardless, even if he doesn't have a shotgun. He can just tear straight through all his back relatively quickly. So, overall, C tier. Since his things last longer than Ash's shots. Uh, Echo's Yokai drones. Uh, he has two drones that uh, they can jump and then just hover on the ceiling or can stay on the ground. Uh, I think they're fa a little bit faster than normal drones. And they can do two concussive shots before it has to recharge, each one individually. Um, oh, with it being concussive overall, B tier, since it's a total of four instant concussive shots. But I don't think they're as effective as Ella's Gurs mods, because one, they can only be done to a single enemy, as far as I've seen. Uh, Castle, he has he's able to reinforce stuff to be doors and windows, so you can make, with the help of a Cater Bandit, you can get a nearly impenetrable room. Uh, if you go to house, there's a one little closet, which you can just turn into an absolute fortress. So, I mean, they can obviously just throw, well, unless you have ADSs in there, then it'll be pretty much impenetrable. So, overall, C tier. Actually, no, B tier, because it can, because it's doors and windows. Those are often the weak spots. Makes, gives the attackers a little bit of extra work. Vigil, F tier. Because you'll know he's there, it sends off a little signal. So, not entirely useful. Smoke, he ha he's able to throw down four smoke bombs. Pretty sure four, yeah. Uh, they'll do a little bit of damage, and I think they'll slow down the attacker. I don't see much gameplay with smoke. At least successful gameplay. Uh, overall, C tier. No, D tier. Uh, Mozzie has three deployable pest launchers, which are a radius thing that will claw onto drones and you'll be able to take over them. So overall, A tier. Fuse has three cluster charges that he can on soft surfaces, often used on hatches and windows near the objective, unless it's hostage, then don't play Fuse. But in any other situation, like a biohazard, that is probably the best use for him, since they'll all, since at least three will be in the objective room. So I have to say S tier. Blitz, he has a flashbang shield. Uh... And he can use his pistol while being while using his shield. So overall, C tier. He is the better of the shield operators as far as ability wise. Uh, Finca, she she can give everyone an extra twenty five health. You have a quicker ADS. Uh, concuss concussion stuff will. If it's hit while you're on the adrenaline boost, it will uh, weaken the effect. If it happens while you're already concussed, then it will get rid of it. Um, and it can, and it's able to useful to pick up downed teammates. So S tier. Jaeger has three ADSs or magpies that within its radius, it will just completely get rid of anything thrown. Probably his best team up would be with, well, I mean, then there's drones, but they try to throw a flashbang grenade or smoke grenade. This will take care of them. So you could team, a, team up with a Rooney on that, but you they'll just throw drones then. So, overall, B tier. Okay. 
Caviar. She has Silent Step and Interrogation, which I'm both counting. So, she, for a duration, she can be completely silent when, and it will automatically keep out your pistol if you switch to your SMG or shotgun, then it will cancel the, cancel the silent step, but it can make for lurking to be fun for you and not fun for everyone else. She also can interrogate downed opponents and it will reveal the real time location of everyone that isn't on your team. So basically the other attackers. So for that, S tier. Legion, he has a, a cooldown of goo mines, which if the attackers step on them, he it will then uh, give them a poison effect and it'll do damage until they pulled out, which it takes a few seconds to pull out. So, And the operators will make a little noise, a little bit of noise when damage, so you'll be able to hear it. And it'll basically reveal their location, so if they want to take damage, they can fight. If they want to stop taking damage, they're vulnerable. So overall, B tier. IQ over a certain distance that I'm not aware of. Uh, she's able to see any electronics, not counting like laser sights and whatnot, but Stuff like ADS is the, even the objective if you're playing bomb. Mostly cameras is the thing you'll see most often, but it can also detect cap can traps, which is very useful if you know there's a cap can. So overall, C tier. Cap can, he has five deployable traps uh, his EDD, Entry Denial Device. He's able to throw that down on windows and doors, so, which I have gotten double kills with them, which does make me a little bit biased, but it, they aren't an instant kill, but they will do a hefty amount of damage, so to already damaged opponents, uh, it is pretty useful. So overall, A tier. Jackal, he's able to put down his visor and track the real-time location of opponents when seeing... He can also see their footprints, which is how he's able to track them, but... You can also just manually track them, but it'll be a little bit harder. So, overall, B tier. Warden, F tier. You have to stand still for your glasses to be in full effect to any make you immune to flashbangs and you'll be able to see through smoke. So unless y you have, unless Ying on the other team is bad, you might get flashed for a quick second and not really the most useful thing. Knock is able to go invisible to cameras, but she's on the attack, so slightly more useful. But when you move, shoot, or anything, it will make a little bit of a distortion. So then they'll basically be able to see, but they can't ping you. Overall, D tier. Well, my, he has a rechargeable uh, magnet, which can, which in its radius, which is actually rather large, it will catch one single throwable, so, and then detonate it. Or... I think with flashbangs, it'll just destroy it, but well, once it's caught. But if it's like a grenade or something, with frag grenades, it'll let it blow up. But with anything else, I think it'll just break its... It, it's a one-time thing. Uh, overall, C tier. Amaru, not counting of what usually follows, but she's able to get... If you have a second floor objective... That's the fastest way to get there. Overall, B tier. Callie, she has little, I think it's two or three 
uh, explosive rounds that will can dig into reinforced surfaces. It won't destroy the reinforced surface. It can destroy soft surfaces and it'll explode on the other side of reinforced, including electrified surfaces. So it'll get rid of whatever electro claw or battery there is. So it's pretty useful, pretty easy to counter the Banda and Cade B tier. Goyo, he has shields that once they're destroyed or shot from behind, they will detonate into a giant fiery explosion. Overall, D tier. Oryx is the only operator who's able to legitimately jump, so he can run through soft surfaces and jump into open hatches. When you run through walls and stuff, it will do a little bit of damage to you. I think it's actually 5 damage. So for that, D tier. Uh, Iana It's basically just a second drone. And it won't even reveal the real-time location of uh, the defenders, so D-tier. Ace has his little loafs of explosion that will break. If you've seen Habana's total of... It does the same radius as six little stars from Habana. But it'll do one and then roll down and do a second one. So... Not more useful than Habana, but still, he's a pretty useful dude. Overall, B tier. Malusi, she has her sonic disruptors, which will, when a defender gets inside its radius, they'll slow down and it'll make a lot of noise. It reveals the enemy's rough location. Uh. Assuming the assuming the attackers aren't looking straight at the door, won't really stop them from killing you. So D tier. Zero has four deployable cameras that can shoot at soft surfaces, doors, windows. And you can his camera is actually able to rotate to see both sides and he has a little taser that does like one damage. Overall A tier. Rooney has her Surrey Gates, which can be deployed on windows and doors. It'll do damage to attackers. It'll turn off for defenders and then turn back on. Uh, easiest way to counter, throw a drone or anything throwable. It'll instantly just get rid of the Surrey Gate. So, it is bulletproof though. D tier. Flores, he has uh, four drones that are on a 10 second timer and do nothing but go forward. It can't be destroyed until you hit the detonate button. It will then have a three second countdown and will become bulletproof wherever it is. It can stick to walls as well, so D tier. So this has been the operator ability uh, tier list. This is just in my opinion. You might think that some deserve to be in different positions. Sorry if it wasn't exactly to your standards, but <laughs> this has been fun. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see all you dudes in the next one.